Yeah, good evening, you guys, once again from Coronado. And I want to point out one thing first and foremost, and that is the signs are not up. As you can see, the yellow pollution signs are not here today. The water is actually open. And if you turn around, you can see people out there actually having fun in the ocean. This is a rare day up here, as you know. The beaches have been closed a lot of days, pretty much all through the summer, both here in Coronado and down in Imperial Beach. But yes, there is a new documentary that really is grabbing a lot of people's attention. It was produced by local guys pretty much in the area where I'm standing right now. And this documentary is about to take off and hopefully have an influence on the people who can make decisions. Take a look. This is a toxic nightmare. Coming down this river equates to about 30 million gallons per day. That's 210 million gallons per week. 900 million gallons per month. This is a documentary that is long overdue. In fact, more than 50 years in the making. But for the first time, the Tijuana sewage crisis is captured like never before. It's to say, hey, look, we need help. This needs to be taken care of. This is a ticking time bomb. This is not a joke. Using their own time, money, and expertise, a handful of Coronado residents have become environmental activists. And this documentary has become their weapon. The movie is The Big Dump, our Pacific Ocean in crisis. It's going to do a lot of things, this little documentary. Even though this won't be shown to the public until the Coronado Film Festival in November, the producers have been working hard behind the scenes on private showings to influential people. So here's what we're going to do next. We're trying to get the 15 or 18 mayors of the whole San Diego County to come to one showing together, all together, with this big energy. In the community itself, the energy to fix this crisis is growing by the day. Most of the adults understand this crisis, but the producers are now reaching out to the public schools, hoping to teach the next generation the ABCs of what's happening down here. If we go to every school child in San Diego and every superintendent and every principal and every teacher, and I know everybody cares about our environment and how beautiful San Diego is. And I think that you will see some teachers want to get involved, and I think you're going to see a lot of kids writing letters to Gavin Newsom and also to President Biden. To finally solve this crisis, it will take political leadership on both sides of the border. This is an international catastrophe. Until now, the government of Mexico hasn't seemed too concerned, but that could change during the next presidential election. One of the leading candidates is an award-winning environmentalist. She won a Nobel Peace Prize, Nobel Peace Prize for climate change and the environment. She loves renewable energy. These old presidents that they've had down there all these years, they don't know anything about renewable energy, and she has this in her DNA. She is going to be the one. Claudia Scheinbaum, remember that name. One thing is clear over the past 50 years that no matter what we do on our side of the border, it's not going to stop the madness. With this new presidential candidate, Claudia Schonbein, she used to be the environmental director for the president of Mexico. And yes, she is part of a Nobel Prize for the environment. It appears as if she has the leg up on the election, which is in June of next year. And if she becomes the next president of Mexico, things could change dramatically overnight. We're in Coronado, Dan Plant, KUSI News.